The ride to conquer cancer is underway, and for Willie McRae, it's about honoring his wife who fought the deadly disease. My wife died from cancer last year. So the team used to be called Proud Marys, based on the CCR song, and we changed it to Proud Marys to honor my wife. McRae is one of 3,000 riders taking part in the country's single largest athletic fundraising event, spanning two days and over 200 kilometers. So this is actually my first year doing it. She did it for five years after she got diagnosed with cancer. And so we're kind of uh, taking the reins from her and keeping it going. And our team has grown from 15 to now 40 people. So we're pretty excited. And we've raised over 160,000 for our team. Cyclists left Toronto this morning and have taken a pit stop in Hamilton, making camp at McMaster University's Acre Fields. My team and I feel ecstatic uh, to be able to bring together thousands of like-minded individuals who all have the same purpose in mind, which is to conquer cancer in our lifetime. Riders will be staying in these tents tonight to prepare for the rest of the journey tomorrow. The finish line, Niagara Falls. And campers are in for a fun-filled night with yoga, food, and an exciting performance from bicycle acrobat Trevor Badeau. Bring some skills of precision, balance, and control to uh, all the riders today and this weekend and hopefully inspire them to take their riding to another level or at least bring some smiles today. This year's ride has raised more than $16 million and $250 million since its inception. The money goes to research at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center. There are a lot of uh, celebratory hugs. There's a lot of uh, reminiscing of those we may have lost and triumphs for what we've raised. So I'm looking forward to going and celebrating our ride today and looking forward to the ride tomorrow and ultimately this is about having fun and raising money. McRae says it's events like these that bring hope. Anastasia Anochi, CHCH News.